gonna say that that quite possibly could be having a unit plant. Too small for cattle, but it looks good. And we gotta watch these watches because they live in this shit here. I love this stuff. Everybody geared up. Shoot ready. Oh, and another thing. Go! <laughs> On. For the 200, 200, 200. Going standing. You can hit that one. Empty, empty. Safe it. Pistol, let's go, let's go, let's go. On the left, shooter. On the left, your other left. There you go. All right, go front. better than I am. I did better on the play. So definitely a better run on this one. <laughs> Wailed on that thing. Awesome. Okay, 5.30 a.m. The sun is not up yet. It's getting there. Just got done loading <laughs> all of that. For a day of shooting. Now, I'm not sure if uh, Knee Knocker is an NFL fan or not. Nah. He's not. <laughs> However, I was, I used to be, but I refuse to be part of their political games and the nonsense that's going on in the NFL. I boycotted it last year when we had a whole ton of support for Colin Krapnick. And uh, here you film. And uh, I'm not gonna participate in it this year either. You know, nothing like a bunch of spoiled millionaires crying about oppression. Psh, bullshit. Shut up. And again, to have spoiled millionaires tell me that I'm oppressing them or anybody else is full of shit. They don't know me. And I don't care what they think. So, what we're doing today is we're going to go out and go shooting instead of watching the NFL. Yep. We're going to actually go out and have some real fun. All right, update. Oh, we got to load your mags. Yeah. Okay. All right, update. We're at spot number five, and I'm so bad. 
I guess I forgot to pick up these shells <laughs> last time I was here. I know I picked up some. I can't believe I left all these shells out here. Um, that was really stupid of me. Um, spot number five kind of blows because I don't know whether we can get a 200-yard shot out of it. Uh, we could set up some sort of run and gun, but uh, I'm afraid that maybe we're only going to get maybe 100 yards, if that, and we may have to go stand way back there in order to get that shot. We'll have to see. A little breezy this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Strong. He works the crap out of his uh, system, too, because uh, he plays a lot of airsoft. <laughs> Grenade holder. I don't think we'll be needing that today. You want to do it or you want me to? I got it. Okay, then I'll film you. All right, so, you know, it's half-assed. I don't dig it, you know, and I, I knew that coming out here on a weekend, uh, I had my doubts, you know. When I came out here on Labor Day weekend and there was no one around, um, I thought this place would have some real killer potential. Turns out that on every day normal weekend I've got all kinds of people out here so you got to come out here in the daytime or uh, during the week when there's less chance of people being around um, or again we're gonna have to go back and do more research and uh, find a couple other alternatives to uh, this place as nice as that riverbed is um, it got shredded they've been riding up and down it um, I guess all weekend, and I kind of figured that was the case. I, I just couldn't understand when I came out here Labor Day weekend why there was no tracks whatsoever in it, and it had been maybe a week to two weeks prior to it, uh, uh, you know, or since there had been any rain, and there was uh, just absolutely nothing. You remember how to use that? Yeah, there was a um, there was one that was. Vertical. Oh. Gotcha. So, you know, it's it, it doesn't really surprise me that there's people out here. This is a beautiful area. It's quiet. Uh, not a lot of yahoos. And even for the people that are out here, there was only two campers that we saw. And, of course, it was all very, very quiet. People were being mellow. Well, it's early in the morning, too. Uh, it's Right now it's about 8.30 ish but really disappointing because i really wanted to get out and test that course and uh this is what happens when you don't have a backup plan you've got to settle for a real crappy place that may not you know suit your needs so we'll set something up here i don't know exactly what it's going to be like yet um we'll probably do uh definitely put some paper up which will be fun, and we can get some good photos from it and go from there. But uh, what we're doing right now, we're just loading up, and uh, we're going to go walking down the trail and seeing if we can get any sort of a decent shot out there beyond those uh, first couple of saguaros right there. So we'll get back with you in a minute here. Okay, we've been here about an hour. There's a knee knocker wanting to, uh, we got to zero in that scope and see whether it works or not. Cheater son. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, we've got the course pretty much set up. We had to change a little protocol because we don't have as wide open of a space here as uh, we did on the last, uh, or in the riverbed. But what we've got is pretty much the same course. We have a starting point here, run to the first barricade, and we've got a 100-yard steel target out there. Beyond that is a 200-yard target uh, that's way out there, and I think we're probably going to end up having to shoot it from this point right here. Now, what we're going to do is, uh, want to raise your rifle, please, so you don't muzzle me. Lift it up, point it up, there you go. Um, we're going to want to move... And when we hit our first spot, 
we're gonna hit this cone right here and to the right or to the left cameraman calls it we have three bad guys right there okay five rounds to shoot those three guys hopefully you get it done in three now we book it up to this next cone right here and you got three more bad guys right here shoot those three bad guys and then with your offhand whatever surplus ammo you've got and you've got five more rounds on top of that you shoot that paper bad guy that ends your pistol stage from here you're gonna go prone and you're gonna shoot that paper bad guy five to the head five to the body and then we've got that other 100 yard 150 yard target out there that I don't know what we're gonna do um, I have to put the barricade like right here or something. Uh, that's going to kill us because we're so in line. We don't have a whole lot of room to move. We're just going to play it by ear. This is improvised. And again, this is one of the bummers about not having more than one site. Um, I had to improvise this. I have not planned this. It took us a little bit longer to set up than normal. And then... Uh, Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to zero in knee knockers Ruger 22, and then we'll take a couple shots with the AR and uh, see if everything is uh, zeroed in. You in there? All right, stand by. I'm going to give you a shooter ready. You say you're ready, and then I'll tell you when to go. All right, mm -hmm. shooter ready. Ready. Go. Two. Hit. Four. Five. Hit. Stop, stop. Five on the long. Can't hear it. You tell empty. Empty? Yep. Safe it. Just leave it. Go! Go! Go, go, go! On the right! Shoot her on the right! Five! Five! Shoot left! Shoot left! Shoot left! No! Racket! Uh-oh. Pull the mag. Racket. Racket. Alright, reload it. Oh, twisted. There you go. Dump it. Go, go, go. You're on the clock. Empty. Reload. On the move. On the move. Shoot right. On the cone. On the cone. Up, 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 up. There you go. You suck. Five, five. Paper bad guy, paper bad guy. Off hand, off hand. One handed. All right, stow it. Go prone. Reload, reload. You got to reload. Five on the head, five on body. Shoot 
It's still empty. Nice. Three oh seven. Huh? Three minutes seven seconds. So okay, so we had one jam with the pistol. That's to be expected with twenty two ammo. I couldn't tell if you'd hit that plate down there. I, I, I can't know. hear it and I didn't see it moving, but we'll find out when I put it back, you know, put play it in the computer. This camera it will it does pick up pretty good. You were wailing on this one though. Definitely. I you got five of five. Well, I don't know. I think you got five of five. I counted five on that. Yeah. So you did good on that one. Nice. Let's go see how you did on uh, offhand. Oh God. You get adjustable sights. Then you don't have to necessarily go, okay, my gun shoots to the left and high, to the right low, whatever. You can adjust it. Okay, little room for improvement. But this is five shots offhand, one point. Not bad. All right, my inaugural run. Of the jackhammer, 307 is the time to beat. 14 points, the score to beat. Okay, shooter's ready. Alrighty, and go. Right side. Target. Stop 
Alfred? 253. Huh? 253. 253? Nice. Alright, well that's a ton of fun. Yeah. Fun to run. And then it gets your body going, you know? It gets your heart rate up, a little bit of stress. Right. Feel free to yell at the guy and... <laughs> oh, low. Ah, uh, that sucks. That sucks, but that's a uh, kick ass. <laughs> and one flyer. I knew I pulled that one. Nice. That blows, though. All right, taper for me. Fourteen, fifteen. Oh, shredded. Oh, you should have left the tape, dude. Oh. Oh. Forgot I had it. <laughs> I'll bring it back. All right, so fifteen point. All right, 15 points for the first run ever of our version of the sledgehammer course. Cool. That's fun. That's a lot of fun. I'm ready to go again.